Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check another fresh October release from Edward. It is molded in 148 scale as it's written here, as you can see it barely fits into the frame but we are going to check it closer, that's a limited edition kit and it copies MiG 23B and so as you remember previous CE day was noticeable because of the special edition of the same aircraft but in different version now we have BN version which also is dedicated to aircraft in Czechoslovak and Czech uh, Air Forces. It is still in 148 scale, it is still limited in amount and we have a chance to check commercial samples so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see here. And I recommend to hurry because this is a limited amount kit and last year it was sold out quickly so you might not even catch it um, after watching this video review but still there should be some on eBay as well so first of all box is quite big and I would say that's a typical sign for the limited editions from Edward and it is also heavy but uh, I will explain why in a second here on the side we have nine marking options which are included in this kit we will talk about them um, in a bit more detailed way a bit later because they will be in the marking guide what is interesting is another side because here you can see various bonuses which are included into this kit. So plastic comes from Trumpeteer, Edward bracing parts are um, ejection seat and steel belts and that's pretty much all surprising. Uh, we have 90 decals options that was what we saw on the opposite side, 92 pages uh, book on MiG 23BN in Czechoslovak and Czech Air Force service. So let's open it, that's a top opening box and in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially, we have nice red button donate and you can click it, check the amount you would like to send us and it will be sent to us via PayPal so it will be quite fast and safe let's say. So what do we have here? We have here Trumpeteer plastic so that's why packaging is slightly different from what we are used to see um, in Edward kits. I will definitely need scissors because all those plastic bags are sealed and I'm going to move this box aside. We, we will start with this plastic sprue so I just need to open scissors in order to cut through this plastic bag. Okay. So on the first plastic sprue I can see various external ports. Um, Trumpeter plastic is not that bad as far as I know. It's not as, uh, I mean, the, new, the most precise kit in the world copying this aircraft, but it should be enough if you would like to build a nice copy of the famous Russian fighter jet. So let's zoom in a bit. Now we should be able to see it. So these are gray plastic ports. Um, I would say that's also a typical feature for this brand is that um, this plastic cover is slightly pale. Here you can see engine nozzle which is molded as a one piece port. We also have here the combing panel and also some parts for the um, air intakes, the side panels. So they are molded separately as you can see. Next we have another plastic bag. So basically we will have to deal with separate plastic bags, a lot of them. And here you can see that we have the tail section ports and whole tail section should be glued out of two holes. So I'm going to show it in a second. Here they are. Note that both are molded together with rudder, which is quite surprising for this scale and especially for the model of this size. Um, here you can see them. External detailing I would say is quite typical. It's recessed panel lines and riveting. We also have here the instrument panel, wending gear OX and wending gear doors as far as I can guess. If we flip it over, here inside you can see some guiding elements which will help you um, align those two large parts together because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to do. But still I'm a bit surprised that Trumpeteer decided to mold um, rudder together with tail fin. Next we have top fuselage section because of the boxy silhouette of the MiG-23 uh, Chinese manufacturer decided to separate it into the separate panels um, separate into separate uh, and here you can see it in detail let's say. So again we have recessed panel lines and riveting External detailing looks really good. We have also here the separate air brakes 
and if you flip over this part here you can see special um, pins for the movable wings now I wouldn't recommend to use them on your model even though that might sound like a cool feature now still on the stand model it would be strange to have some movable parts so just decide which position you would like to have and fix them into the place next we have first plastic sprue with wing ports again I need a second to open the plastic bag and you will see them in a second here they are and again we have quite nice external detailing note those special gears which will be used in order to make the both wings aligned when you will be moving them once again I repeat myself that I would recommend to fix them in place and to um, uh, let's say to stay away from all those movable ideas and also here we have recessed panel lines, flaps and ailerons that are pre-molded and here we have even one thin part pre-molded, I'm not sure if it should be here but as you can see it got slightly bent because of the packaging here inside we also have the guiding pins so it should be relatively easy to align two halves together next we have another plastic sprue with wing ports but here we also have some other parts which are different from what we saw on the previous sprue because those frames are not similar so just give me a second as I said before last year uh, MiG-23 release was um, sold out quite fast I would say this time I was surprised to see at least several kits on the shelves but maybe it was because uh, some others were waiting until the end of this exhibition and who knows but still I recommend to go to their website to their website if you would like to get it ASAP here you can see resin actually these are not resin these are plastic quentin gear wheels as you can see each one should be assembled out of two holes and why I was uh, mentioning resin because there is a resin replacement available so if you would like to have a more detailed now in gear wheels I would recommend to get it it is uh, already available so you can just go to their website and order it together with this kit here we again we have um, recessed panel lines and also guiding pins here and note that tail wings are molded as one piece parts so at least there you won't have to deal with separate parts and their joining process next we have another sprue which is concerned with fuselage ports I can see also the air intake sections so just give me a second there are also special gears which will help you um, get the simultaneous movement of the wing ports here you can see those ports, let's zoom out a bit now you should be able to see whole sprue. So here we have two gears. Those parts obviously will be used for air intakes. Those are side panels for air intakes. This is a top panel for the fuselage. And also here we have some small panels which will be attached separately. Again inside we have those uh, small pins which will be fixing wings and parts. This is a middle insert as far as I remember. But we'll check it um, in assembly manual a bit later so that we can understand what and how will be used in the new kit. Next we have two sprues in one kit and one plastic bag because here we have uh, mostly external equipment for the aircraft and it means pylons and fuel tanks as far as you can see. So again give me a moment to open them. Obviously we are going to check only one because parts are absolutely identical. So what do we have here? Um, as I said, fuel tanks and as you can see they are separated into two halves so be ready to join those halves and send them but we have some guiding elements inside once again so it should be relatively easy to align them together and to get a nice fitment straight away. Okay, next we have another pair of sprues in one plastic bag. Here we have various missiles together with pylons. I'm not sure if all this weaponry will be used on the model obviously some of those parts will stay aside so you can use them for your next build maybe put into your spare parts box but it's really cool that we have it out of the box you won't have to deal with separately sold sets so here you can see missiles 
and if we flip it over you'll notice that all missiles are molded as one piece parts maybe some um, wings are molded separately but otherwise it should be easy to glue them into the place and while I was talking about the uh, separate armament sets there is a brassine set available from Edward it should be way more detailed than original trumpeter plastic but if you are planning to do out of the box build um, definitely you won't be spending that much money on the missiles but I would recommend to check the separate missile kits I mean not the whole big scenes but just one brassine set with specific missile type so that you can have it on your aircraft. It will be um, more efficient purchase if you plan to use only one aircraft, actually missile type, and of course it will give you better detail. And here we have also some of the bombs and pylons. Again, you can see that minor bombs should be assembled out of two halves. The same can be said about big parts. We also have the special uh, attachment points which will be fixed on the aircraft and molding quality looks fine we have recess panel lines and riveting on all those parts so it's not that different from what we saw on the fuselage parts again we had this through just give me a second it was WE so we have here two more of them as you can see they're packed into another plastic bag so we are not going to check them because they're absolutely the same we are going to move to this sprue. This one is concerned with um, engine ports and also I can see some of the wheel wells ports. So I'm going to cut through this plastic bag once again and we will take a look. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here? As I said, those are obviously the wheel well parts and it will be quite, a, I would say, sub-assembly because it will be glued out of separate panels which should be aligned together and then put into the fuselage. Here you can also see the parts for the pilot seat. Here we have the engine nozzle. Here is another one. And if we flip it over, here you can see that we have some uh, guiding pins for those engine nozzle parts. And I can zoom in so that you can check these wheel well panels for example here and also cockpit parts here. I think even if you plan to build the out of the box build um, the final result should look really good and I think you won't have any serious problems so just be careful while working on all those large parts for example here I'm opening the plastic bag with fuselage ports and those are quite big so just give me a second to open them okay and the thing is that there are not only the biggest ones in the kit here you can see them they are also featuring the separate nose cone and nose cone should be glued out of two halves so be ready for this funny process because I mean now it's 2019 so it would be cool to see one piece nose cone but this kit is not that young so that's why we have a two piece um, assembly here you can see fuselage parts detailing here is another one and as you remember air intake um, from both sides they will be glued out of separate panels if you flip over this plastic sprue here inside you can see various guiding tabs and pins for the internal elements so they should help you to get everything in place in a faster pace let's say next we have another grey plastic sprue this one is smaller than what we saw before because here manufacturer placed only the separately molded air intake parts and those are shaped as a one piece elements here you can see them let's zoom in a bit now you should be able to see them um, attachment points are placed from both sides and also from this end so basically each part is fixed on three attachment points here inside you can see the those holes are throughout and you won't have to cut the plastic because they are already pre-cut and that's really cool because it will look nice after careful painting and weathering done on the model 
Next we have another small plastic bag, here it is. And foam hints that here we have the clear plastic parts. Um, just give me a sec. Okay. Okay. And as usual, as you can see, it is fixed or uh, enclosed with tape. So I'm going to cut through it. Because otherwise it will be impossible to open it. And I won't show you the part. Okay, so here we have clear sprue and molding quality looks fine. I think because this is a limited edition we are going to have the masks for all those clear parts. Here you can see the windshield. And overall molding quality is really impressive. So I don't have any complaints about here. Uh, about these parts we can move on to the next one. Here it is. Another clear sprue and obviously here we will have the main section of the canopy so just give me a second to open it okay again we are going to remove this foam again we are going to cut through this tape but that's really cool that we have such packaging here it means that parts will stay intact they won't be scratched they won't be damaged and maybe for some others it will be another, let's say, warranty that everything will arrive intact. Here we have two, two canopy parts. As you can see, that's a main section and also windscreen. I guess this main section will be used anyway, but we will have to use the windscreen from the previous sprue. Um, maybe otherwise. Um, I mean, we will have to use both parts from this sprue. We will have to check the assembly manual now. But first I would like to show you the resin parts. So as you remember there are not that many resin parts included into this kit. And to be specific we have only one part. That's a pilot seat. Here it is. This one is molded as one piece part. As you can see headrest is molded separately. And of course this resin seat looks really cool. I think with careful painting you will get even better result. And let's not forget that um, steel belts are included out of the box. So you will have quite a nice pilot seat out of the box. Next we have the special book which is dedicated to MiG-23BN in Czechoslovak Air Forces. As you can see it comes sealed and it is soft cover, um, quite thick one, quite heavy. I mean hence the weight of the box. Just give me a second to open it. I'm going to cut through it so that we can see what do we have in this book. Okay, so usually those books are not sold separately so if you would like to have one the only thing to get it is to buy the kit otherwise you won't be able to get it. But here I'm going to show you the several pages. So first of all this book is written in Czech language. I'm not sure if there will be an um, English translation of this book. But I think that's not necessary for um, modeling purposes. Because here you have quite nice photos which might be handy for weathering and diorama ideas. As you can see these are cover photos which is really cool because it will give you more opportunities to copy on your build. And there are also some stories of the pilots, stories of those divisions which were flying on the aircraft. We also have the double seater here. And also some photos of the aircraft in the end. And of course the contents page here and the marking guide here. So quite interesting book, especially for those who would like to know more about this special aircraft, let's say. Next we have on the bottom of the box various bonuses which are typical for the limited edition. So first of all here we have mask sheet. Let's open it and zoom in a bit. Here you can see it. So we have masks for clear ports, we also have masks for wheels. And I think that should be more than enough for the nice result. Next, another small plastic bag is dedicated to steel belts. So as you remember we have resin seat, resin pilot seat. So these steel belts will be useful in order to get even more impressive finish in the cockpit. And of course they are thin so it's not a typical PE as some others think 
when you mentioned to them the steel belts. Well, uh, those are the typical PE threads. We have them in uh, two pieces. So just give me a second to remove them. And here comes the interesting part. So first of all we have here the uh, color printed frame or PE thread. And note that it comes with special glazing on the dials. So this um, things will replicate the glasses on the dials. We also have the transparent film which will be used for the target side so it's really cool and again in 148 scale all those small um, changes they will be noticeable once you install them on the model and then we have the traditional golden P thread which will be used for internal and external detailing as well so as you can see we have a lot of small parts, here you can see comparison with my fingertips, so be ready to work with tweezers because otherwise it will be almost impossible to install them into the place. Next we have several plastic bags and I will explain in a second why we have two of them. So first one, actually three of them, first one comes with small decal sheet. I'm going to open it. It's a resealable plastic bag, so it's not that difficult to do. Just give me a second. Okay, so what do we have here? We have here the eagle symbol, which will be um, or should be applied on the nose section. And it comes from Edward, as far as you can see. Actually, this is a correction set because as far as you can guess there is some mistake on the main decal sheet and next we have another decal sheet here it is this one comes from Edward and it's full of various stencils for the aircraft and also for the armament so I recommend to place them all on the model it might be a bit tedious but the final result will be worth it and in this size it will be noticeable so just take some time and apply all this stuff on your aircraft. And here we have slightly bigger plastic bag. Why? Because here we have the main decal sheet. And frankly speaking, I think that's one of the biggest ones in Edward history. At least um, out of all those Edward kits which I saw in my experience, here we have the one of the biggest ones. So just give me a sec to remove this backing paper. And I will show you what do we have here. As far as you can see, it also comes from Edward, so no cartograph, surprisingly. But I can guess that it is printed with new technology, and Edward promised that it will be thinner than any decals type available on the market. So that's why it might be um, an advantage to have those decals included. We also have the segmentation applied here, so you can cut off the necessary segment, use it for your marking option without having to cut through the whole sheet just to get the star symbol for example. We also have here the stencils and note that they are different a bit. We have the MiG-23BN and we have also MiG-23BN overhaul so be careful which one you use. But printing quality is really impressive. We also have um, decals for the dashboard here so in case you are not that huge fan of PE parts you can use those decals in order to get at least some detailing in the cockpit. Next we have final but quite important bonus in this kit. I'm going to zoom out even more. Okay, I think that's pretty much what we can do. So what we have here is assembly manual. Just give me a second, I'll close my scissors. And let's open it. It's a quite thick brochure by the way. So here we have the parts map and note that whole sprue with missiles won't be used in this build so basically you can just put it in your spare parts box the same can be said about some bombs and assembly process starts with the resin seed then we continue with instrument panel uh, cockpit side panels here we assemble the cockpit floor together with rear wall then the next step is assembly of the cockpit walls which will be inserted into the fuselage halves. Here you assemble the air intake ducts. Next we work on the engine nozzle. Here we assemble the main landing gear wheel wells. And then we work on the movable wheel wings. 
here we assemble the nose venting gear ports um, this shows us how to use the air brakes you can replicate them in closed or open position it will be up to you note that air intakes also employ the P ports which should improve the appearance of these segments or sections on the aircraft then comes the most interesting part so you have to take the fuselage sub-assembly install the side air intakes then install the main wheel wells and then close all this stuff with top fuselage section it will be a bit tedious work because you have to get the right alignment but final result will be impressive next we continue to work on the canopy and there will be uh, a lot of P parts to install on the canopy surprisingly here we have the tail section then we install the tail wings together with all this stuff here you can see the assembly of the main landing gear legs and wheels next we continue again with air brakes these are the ones which are placed on the tail section so you can um, replicate them in open or closed position uh, next we install the nose cone here you can see the nose landing gear doors and the final steps include the assembly of the bombs, fuel tanks and their placement on the aircraft so as you can see here we have the load scheme so that you can use the right load or loading on your model here we have huge covers chart so that you can use the right shades for the painting purposes those are masks and their application guide so as you can see it is concerned not only with clear ports but also with swinging gear wheels and various um, sections of the fuselage next we have the hobby paints recommended shades for the armament and here you can also see the stencil placement guide for the armament and next comes the marking guide so first aircraft comes from uh, Lugovoy Soviet Union 1977 as you can see it is finished in this green camouflage basically all aircraft will be finished in green camouflage this one comes from Czech and Slovak Federative Republic 1991 this one comes from Czech Republic 1994 next we have another aircraft from Czech and Slovak Federative Republic 1992 this is a Czech Republic 1993 and it features this uh, eagle hat on the nose here we have just the mouth with blood on the teeth next we have another aircraft from Czech Republic 1993 this it's not black but the color named black blue so we have this 35 aircraft from Czech Republic 1993 that's a special anniversary marking next another one comes from Czech Republic 1994 this one comes from German Democratic Republic 1989 and might be interesting for some of you who prefer this aircraft from this country here we have stenciling guide and it will be um, I would say check of your your attention check because as you can see amount of symbols is really impressive so be sure to apply the right ones because as you can see here we have some specific um, symbols which are applied only on the special markings we also have here the list of various accessories so it includes weapons also FOD wheels bombs gun ports missiles multiple rack exhaust nozzle and engine air intakes even which are molded as one piece parts they will be released in November so it will be interesting to check them as well as I said before this kit should be already available I'm not sure if it is still on sale because it is a limited edition it won't be a rare release so amount is quite limited and if you would like to get one you will have to hurry and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button. Don't forget that you can support us financially by pressing the donate button and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!